Good morning and welcome to the channel. My name is Kyle and I want to go over a couple things that I've been doing with my fiance uh, since this COVID-19 pandemic has kind of hit. Um, all the rage right now is doing everything outdoors and the nice thing is, is my fiance and I we've always been outdoorsy people so this year really hasn't been all that different for us but uh, one thing that we have gotten into quite quite a bit lately is camping and um, RV sales right now are just absolutely through the roof. And I actually was just watching a, a video and they said that uh, the RV sales for this year have been something to the effect of the highest it's ever been in the last 40 years or something crazy. So a lot of people are getting in and um, getting in and uh, seeing what they can do on the, on the RV side of things and just want to give you a little little walk around my camper and that way you can kind of see what we do and see if that's something that you guys want to get into in the future. Really what we're, my fiance and I are going to do in the future here is we're going to be doing a video. Um, we're going to be taking our honeymoon and we're going to be going way out west. We live in Wisconsin right now and we're going to be going out west uh, to see Custer and then we're going to go up to Glacier National Park and Yellowstone and Grand Teton. So that's going to be next year for our honeymoon. Uh, which, so I'm really looking forward to that. But that being aside, uh, let's take a look at the camper, okay? So this is my camper. So this is a 2019 Jayco J-Flight SLX 212 QB. And basically the, the specs in this camper, the dry weight of this guy is about 4,300 pounds. Uh, with a full tank of water, you're adding about another 400 pounds. So all in uh, with just water and the, the weight of the camper, you know, you're know you about 4,700 pounds by the time you add in all your other stuff. You're looking at just over, just over 5,000 pounds realistically as far as what we have in there. Uh, we did a couple of things to this camper since we have bought it. I will point those out as we go through the, the tour. Um, but let's kind of start off over here. Let's see, was I smart enough to unlock this ahead of time? No, I was not. Just give me one second here while I grab the key. So, this is a pass-through storage, and um, it does open up on, on the both sides, so it's, the other side is the exact same thing. But I will keep a lot of my different things in here, uh, just in general. So I got obviously a bunch of different blocks. I have some some stakes and things. I do have my hitch in here. Um, this is my water and power tote. So I keep all my, my items for when we hook up and things like that in here. Great pass-through storage. Um, it does actually open up down underneath into the bed. I will show you that when we get inside. But it's one thing that you can never have too much of is storage. So keep that in mind when uh, when you're looking at campers and things like that. On the outside here, uh, all of the windows are tinted. If you're looking at getting a camper, I think most of them come with tinted windows now. But you know, if you're in the market for a used one, obviously they're not going to be all tinted like that, just because it's a relatively new thing for on campers at least. But if you have a unit without tinted windows, do yourself a favor: get tinted windows. It helps tremendously with heat transfer. Um, and not only that, but obviously you get the added benefit of privacy. So really with the windows being tinted and having the shades down, you really can't see into the camper at all. Even right now, like you can kind, you see my reflection <laughs> more than anything in the, in the window. But if you get up close, you can actually see into the coach. But again, you have to be pretty close in order to see in. So... Do yourself a favor, get it. It's well worth the investment. Uh, our camper also came with an LED strip on the bottom. Nothing special, uh, but it's there. The camper, when it was new, I think the MSRP on it was about twenty four thousand. Um, we ended up paying about fifteen thousand for it, so we got a pretty pretty good deal on it. Um, about thirty five percent off the MSRP, which is about what the average is for when you expect to buy a buy a camper. Uh, one thing, at least safety-driven wise, that you want to pay attention to, 
and that's these guys right here, your tires. So the general rule of thumb that I always kind of live by is your tires should be less than five years old and you always check your tire pressures every single trip before and after, um, especially before. <laughs> And if you're going on a really long trip, it would make sense to check them periodically throughout throughout your trip. Um, some people end up getting the, the tire pressure monitoring system, little sensors that you actually can put into the tires themselves or on the valve stems. And I'm just not, I, I don't know if that's necessarily necessary. It's a good safety thing. I'm not going to say to not get it because anything safety driven is well worth its, its weight in, in gold. Uh, but for me, I feel confident and safe enough that if I check the tire pressures periodically, we're going to be okay. Um, obviously, accidents happen, and that would be better than, I guess, knowing that you have a flat that's happening. But our trips are less than two hours away. I know you can get a puncture five minutes from home, but knock on wood, I don't, I don't have any wood. Oh, hold on. Knock on wood, that's never happened. <laughs> so... So we got that stuff kind of out of the way there. Um, but let's go ahead and go inside here and show you there. So walking in, you do have a queen size bed right off the bat here. So that's going to be off to your right side. And then down, obviously, to the left towards the back of the camper is going to be all of your living quarters. So let's start at the front and kind of work our way back. So queen size bed, we do have two storage units on each side of the bed this unit over here actually has little shelving it's a little dark but let's see if i can now tap on a little light there so you can kind of see but it does have some some shelving units in there there's two shelves themselves so three compartments um i did put these little tap lights in on my own but you know something that you can you can add on pretty easy it did come with the overhead uh, storage area there and you know we keep our blankets and random stuff up there of course this side over here has a coat rack in there so it's a wardrobe locker and then you can obviously put stuff down on the bottom there and uh, use that for other storage for your for your clothes as well so every one of these windows has a shade. I just have them open. Otherwise, you wouldn't be able to see in here. But uh, the one thing that I added to the camper when we bought it was the TV. Now, this TV mount is garbage. <laughs> and I say that because it is flat against the wall. You, you can't tilt it or twist it or anything like that. So what you see is what you get. Laying in bed, looking at TV at night... Is it the best angle? No. Is it better than nothing? Yeah, but not by much. The only thing that's nice about this mount is that you can actually take the TV off the wall real easily. And there's a mount actually on the outside of the camper. Uh, let's see if I can... That little block right there. So you can actually watch TV outside if you want. But that's going to get upgraded to a, a, a swivel mount. Um in the future here so that way we can actually watch tv why they didn't put the backer on the back side of there is beyond me i know the shower's on the other side of that wall but i would think that you could put a piece of wood or something on the back there and make it fairly strong um but at any rate every camper has its own little quirks that's one of them so we got that kind of making our way back here this is the the bathroom actually before i go in the bathroom i want to show you the storage underneath the bed. So this bed is on hydraulics, so you don't have to hold it or anything like that. Uh, but you can see there is a ton of storage underneath that. So over here, that's that pass-through storage that I was showing you at the very beginning. Um, goes all the way through. I keep my tools and everything else that I need just in general to have in here, just in case if we need to fix something on the side of the road, we've got it. Um, and then we obviously we have just some extra storage with a few extra little things that are, you know, here and there. Fairly open. We don't really utilize this area a lot just because there's enough storage in this camper for just the two of us that 
we don't necessarily need to use it all that often. So this is what I like to consider like our basement per se. All right, now we can go on to the bathroom. So in the bathroom here, it is a full bath. So it's not a shower toilet combination. You do have your toilet, you have your sink, some underground or under sink storage there. Um, and obviously some shelving units over here that we put some of our, our toilet trees on. The one upgrade that we made in the bathroom just in general was this Oxygenetics head unit uh, for the shower. The stock shower head did not have this on off switch for the shower head itself. So you always had to actually turn the faucets on and off when you're taking a shower because you, know, you got to conserve water, right? So when you do that, uh, you always have to reset your temperature on your water. Well, now you just flip a switch, holds the temperature, everything is good. So I would highly recommend that. It is well worth the 40 or whatever dollars that I spent on it. Uh, get yourself one of those. It works perfectly. And then this unit does come with a, a skylight that came with it. I did not put that in, um, but it really brightens up the room in here. It's, I mean, it's pretty cloudy outside today because it's been raining for the last week straight. And um, it's like daylight in here. There's no lights on or anything like that. Uh, the fan unit is there. Uh, nothing special. I wish it was a fantastic fan, but it does the job. The one thing that I did do that you can't really, you won't be able to see in the video, but I did put one of those max vents on so that way we can have it open even if it's raining and we don't have to worry about water getting in. So if you, you know, again, it's a cheap $30 investment or whatever, well worth it, allows you to vent out the, the camper and things like that even in, in bad weather. The kitchen, nothing special. Um, what you see is what you get here. I'll kind of stand back so you can see the whole thing there. Um, one thing that we did was obviously we put in this little, you know, key ring holder, hat holder, whatever on here. And, um, you know, that way we can hang up some of our stuff, you know, for our dogs and some cleaner and things like that. But the big thing are these right here. So my brother actually works at a, um, a cutting board manufacturer and I had him actually custom make these cutting boards because there's there's not a lot of counter space here for food prep or for like you know in the morning if you want to make a cup of coffee and that kind of like there's just not a lot of counter space and which is again to be expected no slides or anything it's only 22 feet long it is kind of what it is but we made these custom these custom cutting boards so that way they fit right inside of the uh the double sink here so it does come standard with the double sink and uh with these cutting boards on here it works out pretty nice because you know in the morning we can have our coffee pot going since the outlet's right over here we can have that going we can still food prep over here we can take this side out set it on the stove have some more counter space on the stove still have a sink to fill you know with water and that kind of stuff so it's pretty versatile, and um, if you don't have a cover, I would highly recommend getting one for your sink because it's kind of wasted space, but you got that. Um, up above, you do have a decent amount of storage space up here. Uh, my only gripe up here is that there really should have been a shelving unit that goes across. I'm going to build one here so that way we can double our space up here. That way we have a, a specific place for our our dishes and cups and things like that. And we can have our spices kind of up further. Um, just makes it a little bit neater and nicer. We do have this little spice rack thing that we actually we take out and set behind the uh, the stove when we're, when we're actually camping and set up. Mm. But, you know, just something else to kind of keep in mind. Does come with a microwave. Nothing special. It's a microwave. <laughs> uh, the only thing that we really liked about this camper was the fridge. And the fridge is the large fridge for an RV. It's not obviously a residential unit, but for an RV this size, it's a very large fridge. Um, you know, we're actually getting ready to go on a camping trip here pretty quick. So we started packing some stuff in here. And one thing that I would also recommend you getting is if you don't have a little thermometer uh, for your fridge and for your freezer, 
I would recommend doing so. That way you know exactly how cold things are and, you know, obviously stay, you know, food safe and stuff like that. But this is the the freezer portion here. Um, you know, we've had ice cream and uh, ice and things like that in here. Meat's never thawed out. So we've been, we've been fairly lucky. And uh, I know on my unit, it kind of goes on a a snowflake uh, for what the temperature is. For me in particular, four snowflakes seems to work the best on this unit. Um, keeps the fridge right at its optimal temperature for uh, for the refrigerated items. And for the freezer, actually keeps it about five or ten below, uh, below zero. So it's like, it's perfect. It's right in food safe, uh, uh, safety range there for, for your food. Enough about the refrigerator. Let's look at this little pantry here. So this pantry is from ceiling to floor and, you know, we obviously keep some of our, our other household goods in here as far as snacks and things like that. You know, some more storage down there. So we, we like keeping our dog stuff down there. We do have an extra extension cord. That's just a regular extension cord that we can utilize outside. Um, side note, if you guys like Vizzy, it's terrible. Like, I don't know how you do it. I'm not going to spend a lot of time talking about that, but we tried it one time and I uh, think we had one drink each and we we're like, no, thank you. <laughs> so, so if you like Vizzy, more power to you. If not, that's all I'm going to spend on it. <laughs> um, in the back here it does come with a scissor couch. So it is like a, a leather material. Um, I don't think it's real leather. I think it's more of a pleather type, but you know, it is what it is for this price range. You get a couch. It does fold out uh, so you can actually sleep. You know, kids, you can probably fit two kids on here and you can fit two kids on, on the dining table area here because this folds down into a bed as well. As far as adult wise, you know, obviously one each because there's just not going to be enough space. Um, so this camper in particular will sleep, you know, anywhere between four adults or, you know, two adults and four children, really. I think you're going to be getting pretty crammed with having four kids in here, but you can sleep them. <laughs> so, so you have that. Up on top, we have more storage space. Uh, this is going to be on the driver's side to give you kind of an orientation, but it does go all the way back behind that cupboard. Uh, so you got plenty of space to put stuff in. Um, so you got that. You do have it on the passenger side as well. We have a little storage area by the TV. We obviously don't utilize that because the TV is on a swivel mount. So we actually swing the TV out and over. So that way it's a little bit more comfortable for us when we're, you know, sitting on the couch and watching TV or whatever. Dinette, really nothing special. Um, you can easily fit two adults on, on each side. Uh, some of the dinettes are pretty small where you can only really fit one adult and maybe a child. Uh, but this one, you can actually fit four adults in here and uh, and have a meal. So it is close, but you're camping after all. So there's that. Let's see here. I think that for the most part is everything. Um, there is storage underneath here, underneath the actual seats themselves, but nothing nothing crazy. But that's what I mean. Like this camper, it's got just a ton of storage. You know, when you figure in, you got the two lockers on both sides. You got the overhead storage there underneath the bed. You got all your storage for your kitchen on, on the upper cabinet and the lower cabinets. And then storage underneath the sink. There is a little, a little uh, cabinet underneath the stove itself. So you can actually fit, uh, you know, some items underneath there. That's where we keep all of our pots and pans. You got storage over top, the, the actual dinette, and you got storage on the top of there. You got all this storage over here. I mean, you got just a lot of storage in this camper, and it is, it's, that's why I say we don't really utilize underneath the basement over here, because uh, we don't really need to. Like, everything else is just pretty easily accessible. So that's kind of our camper. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. There's going to be a lot more videos kind of like this coming out in the future. Like I said, my fiance and I are going to be going on a huge trip out west and we're going to be documenting everything 
I know my setup right now, I'm you know, using a smartphone and this is really one of the first videos that I'm doing in, in this fashion. Um, I have a couple of videos that I did many years ago, but um, this is just one of the videos that I'm, we're going to be doing. And um, if you like it, please subscribe to the channel, hit that little bell so that way you know when I actually upload some new things. My next video, just to kind of give you an idea, is going to be going over the tow vehicle. So this is a different truck than what I had before, even though it's the same color. Uh, it is completely different. So something else I'm going to be going over with you. Thanks for watching and sticking in with me. Hope you have a great day, and we'll see you in the next video. Thanks.